Hello everyone, welcome to another Music Track Mind video. Today I'm up in Akron, Ohio with my friend Kamal Dial. He's a friend from high school and we're actually on our way to see Video Games Live on uh, the University of Akron's campus actually. And where is it at, Kamal? Uh, it's at E.J. Thomas Hall. E.J. Thomas University Hall. Of Akron. Okay. Yeah. Very cool. And uh, this could be your first show, isn't it? Yeah, I'm really excited. I yeah. haven't seen him before, but I've heard a lot of good things. All right. So. This is actually going to be my third time seeing him. I'm super excited. For those of you that are not familiar with Video Games Live, it's quite literally what the title is. It's video game music. And it's going to be performed by Akron Symphony. And basically how this works, there's basically two guys that go around doing this. Uh, the main guy is... Tommy Tallarico, he's a video game composer and founder of Video Games Live. And they also have a uh, conductor that travels around with them. The conductor for tonight is actually going to be Emmanuel Fratiani. I may mis be mispronouncing that, but uh, that's about as close as I can get. And we're super excited. Again, I've seen this three times, and so if that gives you any indication how awesome the show is, it's super exciting and... Uh, well, you know, we're just going to go there and I'll ho hopefully have some good footage to show you guys of what it's like so you get an idea of what it's like. And uh, we'll get back to you after the concert, tell you our, our thoughts and see if I build it up as best I could for Kamal to get him excited about it and see if he likes it or not for his first viewing of it. All right, we'll see you there.
hope you enjoyed that. And before I say anything else, let me go ahead and say, because I know somebody's going to say something about me filming a milk concert. Tommy says it's perfectly okay to film the concert. He ha actually asked you to get your phones out and to film the concert, but he has one rule. You have to post it to social media. So I'm going to follow his rule to the T. I'm going to post this up on YouTube and to help share the joy of video games live for everyone. Now, let's get down to... Uh, our thoughts on the concert. So, again, this is the third concert for me, so obviously I'm a big fan of Video Games Live. I, I'm a gamer. I've played video games for a really long time. Now, Kamal, your first concert. What did you think of it? I thought it was really great. I had an amazing time. Um, I've been to symphony concerts in the past, and I've been to other concerts in the past, but this was just something new, something different, a combination of both, and um, I also really like that they put a variety of video games, some of them that I've never even heard of before, but some that I knew well. So even if you like Mario, or if you like Halo, or if you're into some older games, uh, they played Mega Man even, so I, I thought that it was a great concert for anybody who likes music or video games. Really. Exactly. Yeah, and one of the cool things is you don't even have to like video games to like the music. If you just appreciate music, you can go to this concert and enjoy yourself and have a great time. And uh, so one thing I always try to focus on with this channel is music education uh, applications. And one of the things I actually did when I taught uh, high school band, I actually took my high school band students to see Video Games Live because this is an, en an excellent intro uh, to symphonies. That's literally what this is. This is a symphony concert. You can see the full symphony uh, the, with the strings and the brass and the percussion, the whole works. Plus on top of that, you get a full choir behind them, uh, backing them up. And they also have, you know, you got uh, Tommy doing the, the uh, solo guitar features on a lot of the songs. This is an excellent intro because I took them there. I was like, all right, you guys can relate to this. You guys, a lot of them play video games. So you guys can kind of know what to expect a little bit. And so we went, we saw it, they loved it. I said, all right, now we're gonna go back in a month and we're gonna see a more traditional symphony concert. And this really opened them up to it because now they realize symphonies, concerts and orchestras, they don't have to be boring. They can be exciting. And it's not just music that you wanna to go to sleep to after you know, 30 minutes of hearing the same song. It can be exciting, it can be something you enjoy. And it really helped open them up to it. Um, and so what are your thoughts on that, Kamal? I agree. I think um, it's a great way to not only bring uh, young people to classical and, sim and symphony music, but it's also a way for uh, all lovers of music to in you know, enjoy themselves and to kind of bring families together because I can see there are a lot of families there today and maybe some of the adults are into symphony and maybe their kids are gamers, let's say, and I'm sure their family's like that because I'm pretty sure my family was like that when I was a kid. So uh, this is a way for maybe the parents to, you know, uh, kind of relate to their children and their children to relate to their parents, find a common interest. Um, so I thought that was awesome. And uh, I know that you mentioned in the concert they said that a lot of these composers are still alive, so it's cool that, you know, they can um, relate to this. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I mean, video game music has been around for about 40 to 50 years, and uh, it's an art form in itself. And as we said, uh, the, the artists are all still alive. Unlike, you know, the classical and romantic era composers, they're all dead. They've been dead for hundreds of years, so you don't have anything to really relate to. Whereas all of the video game composers are still alive. And still making music, which is awesome. I mean, Tommy, he's, uh, I think he said he actually holds the world record for, what was it, over 200 video games that he's composed yeah, for? Yeah, he's in like the Guinness Book World Record. Yeah, something. it's amazing. Uh, yeah, um, that's awesome. So, I mean, and that's someone right there, and it just shows you so many opportunities in music, other than just being a professional musician. You can be a composer, you can be a arranger, you can be a conductor of music. I mean, there's so many different opportunities uh, with stuff like this, and to demonstrate to your students about what they can do. And I'm gonna hit a light so you can see us a little better. There we go. Um, so come on, let me ask you this. Mm -hmm. Was there any song in particular that really stuck out to you? You know, it's funny you mentioned that because I really like the Skyrim music. And the funny part about that is I've never actually played Skyrim, but I have um, a PS4 and I'm hoping to maybe buy it now because that music was okay. pretty good and it kind of got me excited about it. Yeah, so, yeah. and that's the cool thing about it. Yeah. They do such a wide variety of games. They don't just focus on like one console yeah. or one generation. They do everything up from like, uh, beginning like arcade like Atari games all the way up through you know modern uh, modern games that you that you are playing right now 
and so you don't have to just be worried about, oh, I played Xbox, I never got to experience Uncharted. No, they play everything. They do yeah. stuff from specific, like Uncharted, like I said, to Halo, uh, and all kinds of wide variety. And here's the cool thing. Even if you've seen the concert, like I said, three times, you will still hear new music that you haven't heard in previous concerts. He said, uh, usually they play like 18 to 20 songs mm -hmm. in a concert. I think he said they have over 120 arrangements of different songs. So each concert, they'll play usually like the big fan favorites, you know, usually like Halo, Super Mario, but they'll the crowd pleasers. Yeah, the crowd crowd uh, crowd pleasers. That's mm -hmm. exactly as you said. And but they'll sprinkle different ones in between of so games. Some video games I've never even heard of. Yeah. And it's same. pretty cool because they'll get ones that only released in like Japan and stuff like that that we never even had opportunity to experience or knew existed. Mm -hmm. But we get to enjoy the music from them, and that's just a cool thing of it. So, awesome. uh, Kamal, thanks for going with me. I appreciate it. Thank you and for inviting me. I had a great time. It was my yeah. pleasure. Anytime yeah. I get to share the love music with anyone is a mm -hmm is a blessing for me. So, I hope you enjoyed this video, so make sure uh, you hit the like button if you liked it, and make sure you subscribe so you never miss another video from Music Track Mine. Have a great day.